Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to walk you through a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to clear your NVIDIA cache to fix game stutters, lag, and performance drops you might be experiencing, whether it's just one game acting up or multiple titles. This is a quick, easy optimization you can apply to any system. Whether your PC is old, brand new, high-end, or low-end, it doesn't matter. Also, some of the steps in this process have changed recently, so even if you've cleared your cache before, you may have missed some critical files. This video covers everything you need to do, properly and safely. First things first. We need to temporarily disable the NVIDIA shader cache before we clear anything. Here's how. Right-click on your desktop, select Show More Options if needed, then open NVIDIA Control Panel. On the left side, go to Manage 3D Settings, scroll down until you find Shader Cache. If Shader Cache is set to Driver Default or any enabled size, change it to Disabled. Don't forget to hit Apply in the bottom right corner. Important! After disabling it, restart your PC to make sure Shader Caching fully stops in the background. Now that Shader Cache is disabled, let's delete the actual cache files. First step, open File Explorer. Go to the top address bar and type hit enter. Scroll down to find the NVIDIA folder. Don't worry if your folder has more or fewer files than mine. It varies by system. Inside the NVIDIA folder, open GL Cache. Highlight everything inside. Right click and delete all files and folders here. Now onto the new location where DirectX Shader Cache is stored. Click App Data in the navigation bar. Go inside local low. Find and open the NVIDIA folder again. Now open the folders by driver version and finally head into DX Cache. Same thing here. Select the top file. Press Ctrl plus A to select everything. Right click and delete. You might get a few pop-ups saying certain files are in use. That's completely normal. Just click OK or skip on those. The key is to remove as much as you can. Once you're done, your cache folder should now be almost empty or fully cleared if no files were in use. Next, we'll clear out any leftover shader cache using Windows Disk Cleanup, a built-in tool that makes this super easy. Here's how. Click the Windows button. Type Disk Cleanup and open it. Select your C drive, then click OK. Now, click Cleanup System Files. You'll see a bunch of options here. Uncheck everything except DirectX Shader Cache unless you know exactly what you want to clean up, but for this guide, we'll just focus on DirectX Cache. Once you've selected it, click OK, then Delete Files. After it finishes, congratulations! Your NVIDIA cache has been completely wiped out. We're almost done! But remember, we disabled Shader Cache earlier. Now it's time to turn it back on. Right-click on the desktop. Open NVIDIA Control Panel again. Go back to Manage 3D Settings. Scroll down to Shader Cache. This time, set Shader Cache back to Driver Default or choose 10GB or 100GB if you want better control. Pro tip! If you have more than 300GB free on your C drive, go ahead and set it to 100GB. If you have less free space, 10GB is still perfectly fine. Once selected, click Apply and then restart your PC one last time. After clearing your GPU's shader cache, you might notice some minor stuttering for about 5 to 10 minutes when you launch your favorite games again. That's because the system is recompiling shaders from scratch with fresh data, which is completely normal. Many modern games like Apex Legends or Call of Duty actually preload shaders now, so you might see a progress bar for shader compilation. If you do, let the process finish. Don't close the game or change settings until shader building is done. After that, you'll be back to smooth, optimized gameplay. And that's it! If you've followed along, you've successfully cleared your NVIDIA cache, re-enabled shader caching, and should be seeing better performance overall. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.